time for Jim McMahon to throw. It's the most important thing, Barnett, with bump and run coverage. Lionel Washington, little square in, balls on the way, almost unstoppable. And again, back to Howie Long. Now, I told you his stance, look at the power he produces. Throws Eric Floyd, 300 pounds, literally out of his way. And his teammate Wallace also. 10-3 Eagles. First down, Philadelphia at the 27 of the Raiders. The Raiders? Alvin Williams and the Raiders are waiting for that one. They've seen that before. He's tackled way back at the 41-yard line by Andre Bruce. 14-yard loss as we come to the two-minute timeout. And total yards for the Eagles, and there's Randall Cunningham, and one of the comments I said, uh, you know, when troubled times, you call friends. Whom did you call this past week? He said, I called Buddy Ryan several times. His line was e either busy or uh, he wasn't home. So, Buddy, uh, next time pick it up. Randall needs to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> he still has great affection for the former coach of the Eagles. As do most Philadelphia Eagle players. That last uh, reverse cost Eagles 15 yards officially. So second and 25 for McMahon. Who goes long. and throw by McMahon on the money to Fred Barnett for his fifth touchdown reception of the season. And Cunningham is the first one to greet fellow quarterback Jim McMahon on the sideline. Touch of class, Randall. 69 yards total offense in the half, and they get 42 on that play. A big eagle touchdown. With 1.53 left in the half, Ruzek to try the point. Seventeen three, Philadelphia, as Jim McMahon applauding uh, the rest of his linemen who come off, a flag down on the extra point. Tom White will clarify. Meanwhile, just a... You couldn't find two quarterbacks that are any more different. There is no infraction on the play. He was blocked into the kicker. No infraction. Extra point is good. We'll get back to your comment, but look. The absence of Keith Jackson forces this kind of coverage by the Raiders. Corners up. Safety's out. The linebackers cover the inside guys, but with no Keith Jackson, there's really no threat down the middle. But still, Eddie Anderson, number 33, you'll see him deep here, allows the receiver to get by. He bites on the little in move. McMahon stays with the play and makes the completion. You design this defense, Dick, for one reason, to shut down the outside receivers deep. Now, that's not the quarterback's fault, but Eddie Anderson bit on the move. McMahon stays with the play. Well, you know, just explain how really difficult this game, and this is the artistry. The timing had to be immaculate, the fake was perfect, and uh, you beat a man by a step and you get seven points. Yeah, this is also, I, I think, the experience of a Jim McMahon. Hanging with the play, having great confidence in his receiver, looking at the safety, not at the corner, keeping him off and having him deep and making the completion. And look who come to McMahon. Those are his friends, not the wide receivers, not the so-called skill players. McMahon drives a team at quarterback with the uh, the spirit of an offensive Absolutely. line. And when you ask about his best friends with the Bears, he starts rattling off his offensive line. Walter Payton, too, but it's the old Van Horn, Hilgenberg. He's the Domino's, he's the Domino's champion of the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, outside the NFL, that means nothing. But inside the NFL, I mean, it, that speaks volumes. Look at the offensive lineman. What's sick of him doing there? Get him out of there. <laughs> sick of him doesn't belong well, he plays like one. He's trying to fit in. And Randall Cunningham, uh, his thoughts seem elsewhere. Seventeen to three. One fifty-three left in that very short kick. McCallum just a fair catch. That one stays on his feet. 
and brings it out to the 40-yard line and with plenty of time jay schrader brings his offense back on the field and next saturday boy they must be uh, in a pleasant mood at notre dame uh, well first of all let's talk about who put up next saturday world's uh, that'll uh, follow notre dame football it's the world's largest basketball tournament and spotlights the nation's best street players challenging dr jay's team of greats gervin and cooper and calvin murphy and walter davis on the court of dreams those street legends and oh course, they're dangerous in basketball that's a double bill next saturday following notre dame and penn state oh, notre dame i can't believe uh, I thought Boston College was going a real well. Marcus Allen greeted with a flag down. Byron Evans making the stop. What did, what did Byron Evans tell us? He said, when Marcus Allen was a rookie, he toasted me up. <laughs> toasted me up, translated means, and beat me like a drum. And Marcus Allen is even laughing. Byron Evans probably referring back to his rookie year when Marcus Allen made him look bad. That was a picture perfect tackle. Illegal formation, not on the line of scrimmage, five yards, previous five, still first down. Ball marked back to the 35 yard line. You're just joining us. Uh, and somehow missed the controversy here in Philadelphia. It's Randall Cunningham sitting down for a week and McMahon running in the show. And then Todd Murinovich goes by Art Shell today. As Murinovich intercepted three times in the first half and veteran Jay Schroeder. Dumping it off to Marcus Allen. Oh, what a move by Allen on Eric Allen. Not related, although both grew up in San Diego, California. 14 yards on the play. Actually, very heady move by Jay Schrader. Avoiding the rush from around the outside, steps up, still makes the completion. Just shy of the first down. It was first and 15, now second, and a short two. Sort of available. Leaders with uh, two timeouts left and a minute 32 to go. Officially second and one, closer to second and two. yard line uh, they may have to measure on this one well the insertion of Schrader all things considered has been a very timely move by Art Shell Terry Robisky on the sideline there with Art Shell signaling in the plays they're called by Tom Walsh up there it is performed very well here in this first half first down clock run. center of that sandwich they can break quarterbacks in pieces between those two guys Reggie White who has more sacks than games played the only one in the NFL Reggie McElroy man on man with Reggie White that is a mismatch he even tried to get Todd Pete 64 out there he beats them both 41 40 seconds left it is comes down a timeout second and long Allen staying in the block. That's Tim Brown. And he is dropped down with a flag down. That's a first down. Booty finally gets Tim Brown to the turf. And we'll see if this is a face mask. Clock stopped, as you saw. 30 seconds left in the half. 17 3 Philadelphia. The ball at the 37 if it counts. Well, it certainly didn't take him long to find it. There was a, a face mask penalty there, but it's coming back. It looks like it's against the Raiders, Dick. Well, apparently they did not see the face mask, but uh, did catch one of the Raiders with a foul. And mark it back, Tom White. All offensive right. pass interference, number 88 offense, 10 yards from the previous spot, still second down. Ethan Horton, a tight end, uh, trying to pick off a defender to free up uh, Brown apparently. Well that has become so common in the game today. The tight end releasing off the line of scrimmage. There you see 88. Actually he hits John Booty on the shoulder. That, that's very questionable but the NFL officials have called that rather closely this year. That was pretty good. 